I'm Edwina from My Craft Orchard. Um, I did a video about my week and how I was having problems sort of deciding which weekly spread I, I was using and I showed you my index cards that I use on my dailies which have a love-hate relationship with dailies I have to say. So what I thought I'd do is I'd quickly show you some of the ways and some of the things I've been using. Um, my index cards for with, well not for, the mainly dailies and note taking. So let me show you. So what I'm actually doing is I have a piece of card, thick card. Um, my old cards for the week are on the back. I've got a nice quote there. And I put them face down so I've got instant note paper and on the front I've got a couple of elastic bands that's where today sits under there like that okay and then I can always tuck a pen in there and that sits on my desk or props onto my computer and this is working really well this has worked out really well this week this this couple of weeks so I'm going to continue doing that um, and then basically what I do with this index card is so these are the, the things I need to do today like film, um, I've got a family call at 4 o'clock, that sort of thing any notes so when hubby goes oh this needs to be done or that needs to be done or mommy can you remember this that's all written on or get a message on the phone that sort of thing um, and then when I do my weekly review, which I will do later or tomorrow, I'll take all of those cards out, use any spare bits of um, backing for a brain dump, and chuck them. You know, there's no washi on them, they're not pretty, they're full of scribbles, you know, that was nothing on yesterday, <laughs> obviously I didn't do anything. Um, so yeah, just information okay so that's what the current thing is so i've got some examples of other things i've used or you could use so this is um a filofax clip book but it's the tiny tiny one um it's only got three rings it's got a tiniest bookmark you've ever seen i love that it's so small dividers and you can get this off the filofax website or amazon um so you could use that and that is perfect for in your handbag so there's one thing you could use um, something else that I've used is um, spare bits of card or spare bits of paper um, the inserts out of um, an old diary but the paper's still good and all I've done is got an old piece of card and put a clip on them um, what they call that is the hipster PDA anybody who's been in to getting things done for a long time knows exactly what I'm talking about when I say hipster PDA we all need to go and look it up <laughs> it's a brilliant system um, so that's what that is you could use um, an old this is like a, a pocket notebook and I've just literally just took the cover off um, and I could use that now and so what I could do with with, with this is I could just put the cards in and then use my clip like so um, and I've got something that looks pretty or go in my handbag um, lots of note paper so you could use something like that um, I use just normal um, index cards you could cut out pieces of paper use scrap paper um, anything you like um, these these are revision cards um, I've got two types here let's have a look so um, these are out of Tesco and they're only about £1.50 um, £2 and these are quite pretty they've got various designs on them um, and this one was out of Wilkinson's here in the UK um, and again this, this one's pretty good because it's got um, dots as well as lined um, cards in them um, so they're good as well so and, and with the ring and this on with this clasp 
I mean they're pretty good the only thing about that it's not very sturdy to carry around um, so I mean one thing that you could do is take that out and I've done this before and you just put a clip on that side like that and then um, yeah so there's something else um, this is um, an old day, day a page diary from last year which I had in the sale and as you can see I've actually cut out half of the pages because I was actually using these pages the same as these cards because they're already dated and I'm, as you see I used them right up to July and then fell out of love with them so I haven't bought another one of these because I'd only used them for so long but I can still use these um, purely because I could just cut August off cut that hole off and just leave the four or the three and I've still got all this paper you know so for the beginning of April cut that top piece off I've still got the first the second um, and I could, I could use them no problem you know a bit of franking planning and the cover's really good as well it's a hard hard cover I probably have to do a cover up of the front um, and take out some more of the pages because it's thick it's got that really thickness on it um, again you could just use it as like a flip book and put your cards on like that brilliant works perfectly um, if you wanted a, a thicker type of system the other thing I found, which when I was out shopping this week, was I found this. Now this was reduced, and this is a lovely soft book with an elastic and a, a bookmark. But the pages aren't diarised or anything. It says weekly goals, remember. I know I'm not going to use these pages. What I actually bought it for was the cover it's not too thick so what I thought I'd do very quickly is I would show you how I'm going to franking plan this um, I'm going to literally take the insides out and I'm going to put these cards into it okay so the first thing I need to check is that the cards fit there's no point in me doing it otherwise so yes I would be very happy with that okay so anybody who's done any junk journaling will know what I'm about to do but for those who haven't let me explain so I've got this lovely pink insert the problem is on that very first page it says that so I could have got a choice right I could cut this down here which means that page will just fall out and leave that or I'm going to need to cut it down there because I don't want that so that's what I'm going to do okay and if you see as I open that up this spine opens up and you can actually see just there is where I'm going to cut it now there's two ways to do it I'm going to use a craft knife I wouldn't suggest you use scissors but if you're very careful you could do if you don't have a craft knife the other thing I'm going to use is one of these rulers. Now you're all going, oh my god, it's a plastic ruler. No, it's not. It's actually got a metal edge on it. There, that's a metal edge. So I would suggest you use either a metal edged ruler or a metal ruler for this. Or you could do it freehand if you want to, if you feel um, confident enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ruler on the thick part. And I'm going to just line it up with where the crease is. And I'm going to very gently, and what you'll do is you'll feel for it. That's it. I'm literally, I'm not putting any pressure on that at all. It is just sort of poked through into the gap between the spine. No pressure whatsoever. there you have it that literally just popped off look and what I'm now going to do is I'm going to do the same with the other side ok 
again just putting that ruler into that edge no pressure just trying to find the gap between that and the spine Side's okay, a little bit more difficult on this one because the spine I think is a bit closer. Again, there's lots of lots of different videos on junk journaling and altered books that tell you how to take the insides out of a book. Now, I'm not too fussed because this, as I say, this was in the sale, it only cost me £1.50, and for a really decent cover, I probably would have spent a lot more. Um, okay, so that's not coming apart very well. So I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold that back like that, and I'm going to very, very gently. I'm just going to freehand it, making sure my fingers are out of the way. And I'm not cutting the plastic cover because that's what I want. I want the plastic cover, not the book. There we go. Safety first. Put my knife away. That's it. Okay. Liking that. Liking that a lot. Now, got a bit of trimming to do on those pieces. So, there's two things you could do here. You could leave, I'm going to leave those on. Oh, obviously I'm gonna, this is what it was. It was a journal, A6, 320 pages, 80 grams lined from our local Tesco. I'm gonna take that off. That's such a nice cover. Oh, I really do like that. Okay, so I will, to finish it off, I will go away and I'll trim those. You can put a piece of washi tape on that if you wanted to um, to tidy it up or you could put a complete new piece of paper um, sticker paper or something just to cover the whole of that um, that would work as well what I'm going to do obviously is I'm going to tidy that up and I'm just leave it as it is and if these start annoying me or start coming up then I'll probably um, get some tape on them and just tape them down or glue I might glue them so these are yes these are last week's and this is today's uh, take these elastic bands off I mean, I'm going to take that piece of card I will probably cut a new piece of card um, so, uh, or I might find a prettier piece of card <laughs> So what I'm planning on doing, yeah, I'll probably find a prettier piece of card. I haven't got some to hand at the moment. So, and um, I will probably, I don't have to do it that way, or that way. The problem is because of where the elastic is, that might um, hinder um, the strap. Oh yeah, that's working lovely. Again, I think I prefer the yellow ones to the blue one. I'm just going to quickly change that. Flatten them down. Now they're flapping about in the middle. Mm. And as you can see, that would hold quite a lot. I could put my whole month's worth in there. So I could get 31 cards put the whole lot in there and then just take them out at a week by week basis I'd have the whole month in there and I could just use that for monthly planning if I wanted to um, I think there's got to be a lot more cards put in because that's quite loose um, yeah I think those those are going to have to be moved let me just have a look if I put those oh it might be that I have to have four Quite 
perfect that works really well again I mean you could just use one clip or you could use paper clips wally clip um, anything you like really um, there's even room for a pen in there like so um, if you have a piece of paper you could actually cut it to this size and you could use an elastic band in the middle um, like that as if it was a traveller's notebook or if you've got a notebook um, I don't like the look of the elastic band maybe I need a prettier elastic band and also it's just curling up this edge but I probably won't use elastic bands on this one myself um, if I put it onto the cold that might help ah, yeah that's it actually yeah that works I think I need another piece too I need some pretty cards stuck into the back of those to stiffen it up because this side's a bit loose if you look that's a bit loose whereas this with the card is much better um, and yeah there we go my new monthly daily book I can open that up and it, and it will sit perfectly on my desk lovely fantastic thank you for watching if you enjoyed this then please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of uh, how my mind works and plan with me and I'm hoping I'll start doing some crafty ones as well soon then please subscribe and uh, my craft orchard where skills and ideas will grow hopefully you'll join me next time thank you bye bye